Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all ready? I see you. Nehemiah, what up? Random channel, what up? Christian, what up? Austin, what's good? Sparks, what up? Nia, uh, hit my inbox uh, on Instagram. DM me. I give you that. AM1, my nigga, what up? AM1, I see you, bro. Let me, let me mod you up, my nigga. Let me mod you up. Uh uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ready though? Join my podcast. Y'all ready? Mm. Mm. <laughs> We ready. We ready. Let's get these lights up. Let's get these lights up. Let's get these lights up. Let's go. Let's go. I got my hand. Uh, I got my hand tied. What's today? Saturday. I got my hand tied on Monday. I got my hand tied on Monday, bro. Mm hmm. I see y'all. I see you. All right. All right. Yeah, I see y'all. What's good? What's good? I never read that, Gerald. What's good, man? What up, everybody? How y'all doing, man? Y'all good? Did everybody work out today? Y'all working out today? What y'all got planned for today, man? What everybody got planned to today? Yeah, John, I got a picture of it on my IG. You just got to follow me. Worked out last night. That's what's up. I teach your cardio. That's what's up. That's what's up. Worked out at 6 a.m. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. I see you. I, I see you, JP, working out leg day, working on working out, saving money. Good, good, good. Play Fortnite with the bud. Make sure you making money when you paying that Fortnite. Make sure you making some money. Make sure y'all making some money, fellas. Starting in July, I will be going live on my Patreon twice a week for thirty minutes to an hour. AM1, that's what's up, bro. What you, what, I just trained some back. Uh, I, I filmed the back workout. I'm going to post it on Monday for the, uh, YouTube. But uh, make sure y'all join the Patreon. Um, I'm doing lives twice a week on Patreon now. And, like, guys ask, like, random questions. They join a the $10 tier. Or even if they join a the $5 tier, depending on the question, I answer your question. And I, and, and I uh, No, I'm going to keep going live on YouTube. I got I to gotta keep going live on YouTube. But... The Patreon, you become a part of the Dig Till She Bus family. You become a part of a family, right? So, so it's like, so it's like you 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 uh you invest five dollars and I invest my value into you, like in depth. Like uh right now I'm working on um right now I'm working on Steph's top three top three things so you become the coldest version of yourself and i'm only going to release it on patreon today after the stream i'm doing an interview with uh with with the chick um and i'm posting that on patreon and i'll be um posting the teaser on youtube but i'm doing an interview with a woman today uh just to hear from a point of view from a woman so that uh so that it can spark you guys's brain if that makes sense but um you know what i'm saying just trying to you know, just trying to, you know, show y'all, show y'all that, that, that I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? And we moving as a unit. You know, it, it's nothing like you guys DMing me and you guys saying, hey, Steph, I, you helped change my life. Bro, that make me happy. If I can help change your life, bro, that, that make me happy, bro. 
it, it's all about you know adding value. Um, I'm having an interview with her at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, so I don't know when it'll be done. The interview maybe be 20, 30 minutes long, depending on you know depending on how fast and how slow she answered the question, right? So uh, let me post the Patreon link in here for you guys, so y'all can join that. Uh, appreciate it, bro. What do you think about quitting your, a nine to five to pursue your passion? Um, I explained that in my Patreon, but I'll explain it right here because you at, and that's a good question. Um, I quit. Well, I didn't quit. I got fired. But um, um, you 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 never want to quit if you're okay. You're fortunate to have a job, right? Because they pay you every week or every two weeks or however they pay you. You should be blessed that you have a job. So you got to be smart. And that's why in my Patreon, I talk to guys about, you know, um, you know, being a minimalist, right? Making sure that your bills don't pass your income. So if you make in, if you stress at your job and you can, you can, you know, sacrifice losing 1500 a month or 2000 a month and you want to pursue your passion, just make sure your passion is paying, is paying all your bills and make sure, of course, I read 48 Laws of Power. Make sure your passion is paying all your bills. And then make sure your passion is, is having you at least $500 to $1,000 left over throughout the month. Depending on where you're living at. Um, if you're living like in Cali or New York or Chicago, you want to have at least $1,000 left off. Now, if you're living in Texas, cost of living down here is real cheap. Ain't no state taxes. But the jobs out here don't pay as much. But the cost of living out here is real cheap. So you like in Atlanta or Texas, you know, you smart with your income um, and you want to be self-sufficient. I always ask guys to be self-sufficient. You want to have the job and you want to be self-sufficient just in case the job fire you, because if the job fire you, you're going to panic. I don't want y'all to panic. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want y'all to, you know, if you got the nine to five, you want to keep your nine to five money, but you want to have some passive income coming in. Passive income coming in, passive income coming in, at least five hundred dollars a month. You know, five hundred dollars a month. You know, you say that for twelve months, that's six racks. A thousand dollars a month, you say that for twelve months, that's twelve racks. So you just gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta be smart. You know, if you're gonna quit your job, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be smart. You gotta be smart. That's why I tell dudes like, if you make your income, and it's just crazy because. AMS just came out um, with the Alpha Money Strategies book, and I know, and I'm guaranteed you that I got 200 guys in the chat right now, or 190. I guarantee you, 150 y'all or 160 y'all didn't read the book because y'all don't care about earning passive income. You know what I'm saying? No, don't save up and then quit. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, everybody can't be an entrepreneur. Everybody can't be a business owner, full time business owner. Everybody can't do that. Everybody can't do that. You don't save money and then quit. Money is not meant to be saved. Money is meant to be invested so we can make more money. Let's get the lights up, right? Money is to be invested to make more money. This phone makes me more money. Right? This microphone makes me more money. Appreciate you all super chat, Mike Live, Future Hall of Famer, Young G. Love the channel. Appreciate it. Right? This camera that I bought, that's HD as fuck, makes me money. Right? You have to invest in things that's going to make you income over time. Now, I haven't said there's nothing wrong with buying things that you want. Right. But you got to invest in things that's going to bring you money. You get what I'm saying, fellas? So. So if y'all didn't read the AMS book, y'all motherfuckers is tripping. He explained everything in that book, because I'm going to just say this. You say we alpha and you want to be alpha and he beta. I mean, you can't be fully alpha if you work in a job forever. If you just got a job and you ain't got no side hustle, you can't call yourself alpha. You can't call yourself alpha. You can't. You can't call 
yourself alpha. Because you're depending on this job that's paying you. You got to have a hustler's heart. Not drug. It's a difference between being a hustler and a drug dealer. I'm a hustler. Appreciate the follow-up super chat, AM1. Hashtag all heart, all hustle. Yes, sir. You got to have a hustler's spirit. What's the hustle spirit? Man, I got to get it, fam. I got to get up and I got to get it. I got to get up and I got to get it. Got to get up and I got to get it. Appreciate the $10 super chat, bro. Just want to say thank you for your time, effort, and advice. I appreciate it, bro. Right? You, Ramil, my nigga, I see you $5 super chat. Right? Like, that's the mindset you got to have, fellas. Like, when you buy things, you got to make sure it's bringing you money. You know what I'm saying? And you can't just have a job and call yourself alpha. Even if you selling chips, my nigga, that's entrepreneurial. You selling chips. Okay, this is what I used to do in high school, right? This is my first like entrepreneurial like like side hustle. Um, I didn't have a job at the time. I was like a junior in high school. I bought the chips. The chips was like 30, 30, no, 25 bucks. It came in 50. It, it came in 50, right? Came in like 50, 50 count. I sell the chips for a dollar. I profit 25 and then buy the rest, with, buy the other bag with 25. So I be running through the whole bag in one day. So I'm 25, 50, 75, 100. That's 100 bucks just off the four bags, the four boxes. Plus the, plus the candy. I'm selling the candy for a buck. You know what I'm saying? Each, each time I sell the candy, I'm getting a dollar back. So if I sell all the candies, you know what I'm saying? I'm making, what, 15, 20 bucks off of the candy box. So if I'm making 25 off the, off the chips and 20 off the candy box, you do the math. That's 45 bucks. Do 45 times five. 45 hours a day is $10 an hour. My, like minus the taxes. No, they're going to they gonna strip your taxes, especially if you claiming people, you claiming what, zero? You you claiming you exempt? They're going to strip your that that's how I thought of the entrepreneurial. That's what that's what like got me out of it. Ain't nothing wrong with working a job, fellas. I'm gonna say that right now, but we gotta have some passive income on the side. You selling, you flipping shoes, you flipping houses, like like y'all, you gotta be smart with your shit. Even if you flipping cars, you always gotta think about if I buy this, is it bringing back me any money? Even when you're dealing with bitches, that's next level shit. If you're a personal trainer or if you, you do a, a sort of business where uh, you can attract women, you got to have other women that's going to attract the women to bring you in money. That's called social proof. Right. If I get this bitch and I fuck this badass bitch and other bitches see it, they can join the team and they can bring me income. Not necessarily pimping, but you, you have a business where the, 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 the genre of the business is women. Does that make sense? So if you got this badass bitch on your team, it's going to bring other bad bitches. It's going to bring more money. So if you work in a job, like if you work in a job, you always want to think about, you always want to think about like having money. I got, I got to get some money coming in. This is what I used to do. Like I was making twelve dollars, like twelve fifty an hour work driving a forklift. So you do the math, twelve fifty an hour. Well, in Texas, they don't they don't uh, take away like state taxes, right? So twelve fifty an hour times eight. You working eight hours a day. That's a hundred dollars a day, right? Hundred dollars a day. Let's times that by five. That's five hundred dollars a week. Five hundred dollars a week times four. That's two thousand dollars a month. I told myself now if my side hustle can make me a hundred dollars a day. And my side hustle can make me $2,000 a month. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. Especially if, now, now this is why, this is why, you know, I'm in Texas, bro. But I, I do the taxes. I do the taxes. So say you make $1,700 a month. $1,700 a month. $1,600, $1,700 a month, right? Right? So, if you make it seventeen hundred a month, now you gotta think about, man. I gotta, I, okay. How can I make fifty dollars a day on my side hustle? Okay, I make fifty dollars a day. Okay, now how can I get to eighty a day? Okay, I make eighty a day. So how can I get to one hundred a day? Okay, I make a hundred a day, so that's five hundred a week. 
five hundred a week. But now, now remember, this is like not oh, no overtime. This is just straight eight hours. Now, the good thing about entrepreneurial is the more you work, the more value you put out, the more money you get. The more value you put to the marketplace, the more income you get as an entrepreneur. See, entrepreneurs get paid and business owners get paid by the value they bring to the marketplace, not by the hour. So that's what you got to think too. So if my, so you thinking like, damn, if my shit level up, I can make two hundred dollars a day, three hundred dollars a day. But it's all depending on how hard I'm gonna go. And if I'm making a hundred dollars a day, seven days a week, that's seven hundred a week, fourteen hundred every two weeks. Them two days can make you an extra hundred bucks. But them two days, you can't go to your job because you know the boss man's like, hey, you know, uh. Hey, Ramil, you, you you can't come in today, man. You 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 killing us with the overtime. Like, damn, nigga, I can't get the overtime money. Or, hey, I'm on. You can't come in, bro, because you're just taking up too much overtime. Okay, I can't come in, so let me work three hours, three to five hours a day on my on my side hustle business. Whether that's streaming, whether that's uploading YouTube content, whether that's providing value, or whether that's going out to the marketplace looking at houses that you can uh, fix up and flip. So you can think about the income you can get on the return on your investment. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart. That's smart. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you necessarily don't want to invest in stocks because stocks is not bringing you in no money. You know what I'm saying? You want to you you want to invest in a skill that you have. Real estate can bring you in some money. Appreciate it, Greg. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Real estate can bring you in that money, but you want to make sure you have a skill that the marketplace can find valuable in that you can make money on. Forex forex trade trading is good. I had a home girl of mine that uh that wanted me to get into that. You know what I'm saying? You want to monetize the skills, but but you gotta come out with content every fucking day, every day, because people gotta trust you. People gotta trust you in order for them to invest in your money. People gotta trust you, whether you got a Patreon or you selling the product, they gotta trust you first. They gotta trust you. They gotta see the proof. Okay, can I trust him? How, can I see the proof? Can I see the proof? Oh, okay, yeah, he is making money. Damn, he making a thousand dollars a month. Damn, he making seventeen hundred a month. Okay, yeah, I can trust him. Like that, like that's how you trust. That's how you build that trust. Like when I first started personal training, I was training people for free. As I got valuable, my prices got higher. But I was working a job while I was doing the personal training. I was charging twenty. I was charging twenty dollars a session. Appreciate the ten dollars super chat, bro. I was charging ten dollars, uh, twenty dollars a session, twenty dollars an hour. Then as my value increased, thirty an hour, forty an hour, fifty. Now I charge a hundred dollars an hour. You want to train me, bro? You got to pay me hundred dollars an hour because my value is up there. I bring too much value to the people. Right. As I was working my job. So don't quit your job, bro. Make sure and make sure the money can come in every month. It's residual. It's residual. But being a business owner, or being an entrepreneur is much harder than working a nine to five. Because everything is on you. The machine break. Hey, man, the machine broke. I used to be a machinist too, right? The machine broke. Oh, hey, man, the machine broke, man. The forklift ain't working. No, you're an entrepreneur. You ain't making no money. That's on you, bro. That's on you. Steph, how do you deal with bosses that know your potential and feel that you're better than them? I got fired for that. Oh shit! Hold up, the nigga donated a hundred bucks. Keep spreading that 
game, Steph. Salute. Get you a business and reinvest the profit. Save and invest with feet. That's it. Appreciate the $100 super chat. Brian Anderson, got to start LLCs and other entities. Entrepreneurship is the way out of your nine to five. Let your current job pay for your dream. The women will come. Just focus on you. Facts, Brian. Facts. Facts. The whole, like, like bosses at my old jobs I used to work at, that's how I got fired. Because they was like, they seen the potential of me becoming greater. Oh, we got to get this nigga out of here. This motherfucker got to go. This motherfucker got to go. This motherfucker got to go. He too happy. He too excited to want to work 12 hours. Why is he so happy? Oh, he got to go. We got to fire this nigga. Damn, damn, he's coming in again, boss. He making, boss, overtime is $21 an hour. Stefan is here again. Fire his ass. He got to go. He's too driven. Boss, he's eating tilapia and fish. He's shredded. He's getting ready for a competition. He's still working 12 hours a day. Get rid of his ass. Misery loves company. They don't want to see you do good. So we got to get rid of his ass. He got to go. Why? Why is he coming in? It's it's his off day. Why are you here? You trying to take all the money. Man, I've been there, bro. Appreciate the $2 super chat, Mike Lip. That's real talk. Why, why are he here? How, did he try to take all our all our overtime money? He kind of beta mail voice. Everything. Um, um, how much you make last week? A thousand dollars? Damn, you're trying to take all the overtime money. Damn, you're trying to take all our fucking money. Damn, what, what, what did you do outside of this? I own two businesses. So in about a year, you know, I'm trying to quit, you know, use this money to invest in something else. You know what I'm saying? Invest? Get this bitch ass out of here. He, he trying to invest. We want to keep him a slave. That's why when you when you working in the work, hey fam, don't ever tell nobody what you trying to do outside of work, ever, because they'll pop and tell on your ass so fucking quick. Niggas be at the fam. Niggas will be at the job for ten fucking years, ten fucking years, and only get a three dollar fucking raise. At the max, five dollar raise at the job for ten to twenty years. Busting they fucking ass every fucking day. Every day. Busting they ass. You only got a $5 raise in 10 years. They ain't got no passive income on my side. They partying every weekend. They got a fucking 401k. Like that's going to protect them. And then when they get fired from their job, guess what? They get scarcity. Oh, oh what am I going to do? Well, if you got that passive income coming in, you'd be saving it every month. You'd be saving it every month. You got to be smart. What's a good side hustle for an 18 year old not in school? Uh, mowing the lawn. Mowing along, you know what I'm saying? Getting to some um getting to some uh uh forex trader. You know what I'm saying? H have a skill, bro, that people like. What what are you known for? When you wake up in the morning and you wake up and you roll over, what are you known for? Who are you? Weed or chips to sell in high school? It depends. You want to sell weed? Go sell weed. It's a risk in that shit though. I was selling chips. I was selling chips. Hey, low key, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. I don't know what the fuck Forex is or what stocks is, bro. I only speak on what I know. I know entrepreneur shit. I know how to, I know how to get a profit off my investment. I did chips. I do Herbalife. I do YouTube. I do online coaching. Um, I do, I do uh, personal training. I'm about to come out with my clothing line. Like, like, that's all I know. And then I'm going to do real, real estate uh, in about uh, uh, three to four years. I'm going to start doing real estate. I only speak on shit that I know, bro. 
Of course I'm still on no fat. I only speak on shit that I know, bro. That, that I speak on shit that I know. I stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, hey, entrepreneur is a risky business, bro. Entrepreneur is risky business, bro. Barbering, that's good. Barbering is good. Hey, entrepreneur is risky business. Working a job is safe. You're in the corner. You wait until you get paid every two weeks. Yeah, I get paid every two weeks. Safe. Security. Life is risky. Everything is risky. Go in the corner. Get paid every two weeks. I have no passive income and I get paid next week. And then I'll be broke after I pay my bills. I'm going to take the risk so I can be better than that. Because I ain't trying to live like that. No, you should not quit your job to pursue your passion. Why would you do that? The only time you quit your job is if your job, if your passion money is making more than your job. It's the only time you quit your job. If you wasn't into fitness, what size hustle would you have been if it wasn't fitness? I don't know, bro. It's a good question. I don't know, bro. I was blessed with the fitness knowledge from the most high. I don't know. Having having sex does not contradict no fat. What do you think? <laughs> was I I wasn't homeless, but I was like borderline, like no life, no electricity. Had to move back in with my mom for about a week or two. I talked about that in my Kill the Beta episode one. Um, yeah, I was homeless, like not homeless, but I was like borderline, bro. I, I almost had an eviction notice. You know what I'm saying? At, at 19 years old. Um, but I just, I see you, Grinch. I see you, bro. And, um, I just kept pushing. You know what I'm saying? I just kept pushing, bro. You know, I, I never want to go back to what life was, bro. And life was waking up in the morning to drive to a punk ass job that I hate. Why no college? Because, um, well, why no college for me? Or you're saying why no college period? What do you mean? You mean, why no college for me or why no college, period? But now I never want to go back to where I was, fellas. You know, um, I was borderline homeless. For me, well, um, <laughs> why no college for me is because I didn't need it. Like, I was red peeled at 15. I understood how the world is. You work, people work their jobs that they hate to pay the bills to, to make a living. Okay, so I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to own a couple businesses. I don't have to go to college for that, right? No, I just got to get cold as fuck. So that's why I said Steph is cold because I got to get colder by the day so that I don't have to go to college because what I want to do... To... Hey, is, is what I want to do require a degree? No, G? So I ain't got to go to college, right? All right, for sure, bro, for sure. All right. What I want, what I wanted to do, I didn't have to go to college. Now, if you want to be a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, or do all that shit, you got to go to college. But what I wanted to do, I didn't have to go to college. That's why I didn't go. Dude, I figured it out early. I'm like, okay, motherfuckers ain't really rich. Motherfuckers ain't got money. Most of these motherfuckers living paycheck to paycheck. So they go to school. They take out a loan to go to school to get the job to pay for the loan in the school. What the fuck? Uh-uh, I can't do that. Uh-uh. I'm not doing that. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Uh, Steph is cold, AM1. Steph is cold, bro. It's my IG. You know, I ain't doing I'm not doing that. I'm, I, I wasn't doing that. Now, I'm not dissing college. You want to go to college? That's cool. 
School makes me fucking sick. It makes me sick to my stomach. Like, so what? You mean to tell me that I got to take an SAT to prove how smart I am so I can go to school to get a job, to pay for the job with the loan? No, that shit got to stop, dog. Stop. Y'all kidding me. Think I got a... On my ACT, I think I got a 14 or 15 on my ACT. 14 or 15. I'm just circling that shit. Don't do what I do. Don't do what I don't do what I do, bro. I knew what I wanted to do at 17. I knew what I wanted to do. I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do with my life. I don't need, yeah, you need an education. Yeah, you need an education. You don't need a degree, you need an education. You don't need a degree. You need an education. Hey, 14, love French. 14, 15 on my ACT, bro. And I know niggas that got 20s, 22s, 23s, 24s, dropped out of college. Working at the fucking gas station. Don't know what they want to do with their life. Is a 14 good? I mean, compared to blue pill society. Fuck no. Not good. According to the world, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm dumb. According to the world, I'm stupid as fuck. You won't learn nothing from me because I got a 14 on the ACT. But it's all to keep you trapped. It's all to keep you trapped. That's that is the matrix. If you didn't go to college after high school, how do you keep yourself educated and learning? Hey, steady zone. How, how old are you, steady one? How old are you, bro? Oh no, I'm not, not love French toast. Whether you believe I'm stupid or not, I know I'm not stupid. I think I'm highly intelligent for my age because I listen to OGs. I got mentors that make $60,000 a month that put me on game about life. Then I was red pilled at 15. You 18, bro? You in high school? Did you graduate high school yet? Are you, are you, uh, you graduate high school? You know what I'm saying? Um, you did? So would you live with your parents? Or you live at home? You live by yourself? Hey, that's rash logic. I can't I can't I can't speak on that, bro, because I ain't go to college. I can't speak on that, bro. Ruben Rodriguez, shout out to the dig to she motherfucking bus family. Self-improve is the lifestyle, not a temporary phase. Oh, I appreciate it, bro. Are oh, your parents still so? You ain't experienced life. <laughs> you ain't experienced life. When you move out your parents' house, that's when the world gonna knock you on your ass. That's when you by yourself. When you move out of mama's house, come holler at me, bro. Because school can't teach you shit about life. Nothing. I fuck my credit up. Not not knowing. So when you step in that real world, bro, that's when that motherfucker gonna knock you on your ass. Like, mm, mm, take this bitch. You got bills. You got motherfuckers who don't like you. You got motherfuckers who don't break in your shit. Nigga, you don't need no fucking pre-calculus, nigga. You got to pay rent, nigga. Rent you on the first. Fuck your degree. Where the money at? Fuck your degree, nigga. Mm, where the money at? Life's got to be cut off. Appreciate it. Uh, Follow our super chat. Uh, uh, said Jones. He said, what 21-year-old 
<clears throat> no doing it like clinks all way. Hashtag moto. I feel you, bro. How about mechanical engineers? Mechanical engineering is good, bro. Mm-hmm. So I got to struggle and go through the motions to learn, basically trying there, pretty much. Isn't that how to, isn't that how guys get red peeled? Isn't that how guys get red peeled? I love this woman. I'm going to love her. I'm going to do everything nice. And then, bam, nice guy. I don't want no fucking nice guy, you beta bitch. Ah, fuck my heart. Shit, ah, fuck my heart hurt. Fuck. Shit, she fucked another nigga. Fuck. Now you in the real world. Now you out the matrix, bro. Now you out the matrix. Now you understand that life ain't nothing to play with. Life is trial and error. I don't want you, but this is what I this is what I don't want. The worst way you can learn, the worst way you can learn is learning from your mistakes. That's the worst way you can learn. You want to learn from other people's mistakes. You want to learn from other people's mistakes. Any advice for people like me who live somewhere where rent is too high to live alone? Um, Go somewhere where it's cheaper. And if it's fucked up, go somewhere where it's cheaper. Stack your bread until you can afford something else. That's what I did. Is $3,400 a month enough for a 20-year-old? Depending on your bills, bro. Depending on your bills, bro. I just want to help y'all, bro. I just want y'all to be prepared. That's it. What do you think about getting a roommate? You can get, you can get with a roommate, bro. Get with a roommate. Get with a roommate, eat shit for a couple months, eat noodles and shit for a couple months, stack your bread and get something else. Or sacrifice the roommate and live on a higher rent side, right? And have a peace of mind while self-improving and killing the beta at the same time. Sometimes y'all don't self-improve because y'all got betas around y'all. Influence you with beta shit. Sometimes you got paid at $1,500 a month and you only make $2,500 a month. To get away from the beta blue pill thinking. You by yourself, one man army. You by yourself anyway. You by yourself anyway. So you got to break off away from them so you can get yourself right. Because you can't help nobody if you ain't help yourself. Appreciate the $10 super chat, bro. Lost my boot camp coaching job after four months, even though my ratings was booming and other coaches lost clients to me. When your greatness outshines the boss's jealousy comes, always start your own shit. Motherfucking facts. That's facts. That's facts, bro. That's facts. That's facts. Chase is Mikey. I got some money in the bank, but I need to stack more. I just got laid off recently. Stack your job, Chase. Don't worry about that. Don't, don't let that stop you, bro. Don't let that stop you, bro. Don't let that stop you. Like, I want y'all to get y'all shit together first before y'all even think about fucking a bitch. If you live with your parents, that's cool, bro. But if you if you trying to fuck a bitch, put an imprint on a bitch, you got to have your own place. What do you what do you do with friends who trying to put you on financial advice? It depends on what the advice is. How about hitting licks? Hey, that's on you, bro. Chase, I feel you, bro. I feel you, Chase. I feel you. See Doug calling me right now. See, they just call me. These guys, people call Fellas, ain't nothing wrong with a job, though, y'all. Like, I figured it out early. I 
figured it out early, bro. I'm like, so damn, this how the world work? Damn. All I got to do is, okay, so I don't need to go to college. Mm-mm. I went to trade school though. I had to go get my my uh my uh pork life certification because I needed a job to bring the income in. I like driving, right? So I'm like, shit, I might as well do a job. I like driving something and just picking shit up and putting it in the trailer. I can do that for eight hours, twelve hours a day. I like cooking. Before the forklift, I was I was working at noodles, so I was cooking shit. That's how I learned how to cook real good. How to lose that last bit of belly fat. Deficit, bro. Dig. You got to dig, bro. Got to dig. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How much y'all think them cooks make at them fancy restaurants y'all be at? A lot of money. How do you feel about going to business with your best friend? That's cool. That's That's cool, bro. You can do that. Them cooks make a lot of money. That is a skill. That's a skill, bro. To cook somebody food to perfection. That's cold, dog. See, Doug. Appreciate it, bro. Blessings. Blessings, big bro. I see you. I see you. That's my motherfucking nigga right there. Appreciate that shit. Stefan, you acting like you care about money, but you only care about digging them guts out. Bro, tell you something, bro. When you in this real world, bro, and you got rent to pay, and you got bills to pay, and you got to feed your stomach, and you want nice shit, you want nice shit, you ain't going to ever think about no pussy first, bro. You're going to think about that money first, bro. Because the money going to bring the guts. Of course I'm ready for that Carnage movie. Been one of my favorite superheroes. The money going to bring the guts to you. You just got to dig the guts out with your alpha shit. Appreciate the $10 super chat, Mighty Eli. Solo, I see you in this bitch. I see you. The money going to bring the bitches close to you. You still got to open your mouth. The face, the tattoos, and the earrings, and your, and and the money. It's going to bring the guts to you, but you still got to dig her fucking guts out till she motherfucking busts. And that's where the strategies come in. That's where AMS come in. That's where I come in and I help y'all. I can't make you self-improve. I can't. I can't make you drink three of these a day. I can't make you eat uh, watermelon. I can't make you go to the gym. You got to do that. But when you get all of that, and you get all of that attained, now your confidence got to flourish. Now your mouthpiece got to flourish. Now you, now you really got to show your sex appeal. Now you really got to talk her in her ear. The money is going to bring, listen, the money is going to bring the guts. The money is going to bring the guts. But you, 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 bro, you have to dig the guts out. Appreciate you to not super chat, bro. Difference between me and you. Looking in that mirror every day and your abs is getting visible and your, and your body fat is lowering, that is motivation. Looking in that bank account and that money is increasing, that's motivation. Nigga, I guarantee you, you at your fucking lowest, you ain't gonna be thinking about a bitch. You ain't gonna be thinking about a bitch and you homeless. Your lights finna cut off, your water off. You ain't gonna think about how to dig no fucking guts out. Still gonna have the confidence if she gonna approach you too, though. Still gonna have the swagger of a motherfucking G. But it's a ain't none ain't no worse feeling than you being at your fucking lowest, bro. 
Because the money is going to bring the guts. But you working on yourself, your mouthpiece, your confidence, your sex appeal, how I teach y'all on Patreon, how to dig her guts out in certain positions and shit. You got to do that. Your money can't do that. Your money is going to bring her here. But you have to, like, Venom, right? Venom is not Venom without the, without the, without the black shit getting in his skin. So his, so he can't be venom without it coming in him. He's just still Eddie Brock. I'm telling y'all, fam. I'm telling y'all, fam. It's having your own place make you more masculine. What the fuck do you think? What the fuck do you think? What's up? You want to come over? I'm I'm 22, 23. Y'all got a job. Oh, I still stay with my parents. Pussy get dry. Pussy is dry. What's good? Shit, I'm chilling. You trying to come over? It's my place. What the fuck is you talking about, baby? My place. All right. She come to your place. You got the nice cologne on. You got the nice masculine aura in it. And the, the smell smell good. She see the wine bottle. She see the... Like, you got posters around. Bitches is geeks, too. Bitches like Marvel, too. You got Marvel posters in your living room. You got a picture of you in your living room. You got a couch. You got a bed. You got food in the refrigerator. And then you finna dig, stroke, dig, then you finna dig your shit. And your shit is the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. Ever. Yep. Yep. Why y'all think she why y'all think they like older women? Why you think they like older men? Older men are more responsible. Older women are more responsible to them. What can you do if you're 21 and you still don't know what to do? Figure it out, bro. I can't help you with that. That's something that you got to figure out. I can't help you with that, bro. That's something that you got to figure out, bro. I can't help you figure out what you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? I can't help you figure it out. Nah, for Dre? Nah, bro. Hell, nah. I wouldn't. Not for Dre. Uh-uh. I fuck Dre, though. <clears throat> Steph, I have a gaming channel. Tupac can't sell. Do you think that's a good side hustle? Yeah. How many How many days you posted? My brother. I have a twin brother. I have a twin brother who runs a gaming channel. Twin brother. He runs a Twitch. He's verified on Twitch. He used to post every day on YouTube and then stop for four months. And then all his Twitch shit just went the fuck down. His name is your boy Steve on, on YouTube. Your fam Steve on Twitch. I had a conversation with him two days ago. I said, you got to post every motherfucking day. Because what I talked about trust. You can't tell nobody to join your stream. Or join your Patreon and you don't post every day. You got to have people trust you first. People trust you with the consistent uploads. Consistent. Damn, this nigga consistent. Damn, this nigga posting two, twice a day. Damn. Yeah, let me join his Patreon. I trust him.
Now I'm investing them because I trust them. It's not about the subs. It's the content. If your content trash, ain't nobody going to fuck with you. Fuck the subs. It's the content. You talk about the same shit. Ain't nobody going to fuck with you if you talk about the same shit. Real talk. You talking about the same shit every fucking day. How's that adding value? That's adding no value. Appreciate ten dollars super chat. In the process of killing the beta, what's the best approach and mindset to move on from a girl that I'm caught up on after being ghosted? Um, let her go, bro. It's simple. This women shit is simple. It's simple. The beta is killing your bitch ass. The beta is making you depressed and having anxiety and overthinking. Let that bitch go. Take L's. She wasn't yours anyway. And this is why I say this is why I say, you only going to learn killing a beta is when a motherfucker kill your beta for yourself. If you don't kill the beta, that bitch going to kill the beta for you. But if you, um, they're, they're different. They're, they're not the same. They're not the same. They're not the same. Accept the L and move on, bro. Sometimes you got to take them. That's how you learn. That's how you learn to, to, to improve the beta -ness. I live stream every Saturday and twice a week on Patreon. That's how you do it, fellas. Or you can keep chasing a woman and keep sniffing her ass and beat your meat and complain about them all day. That's on you. What do you think about Scotty's wife, ex-wife? I don't give a fuck about Scotty's wife, ex-wife. I don't. I don't. Ooh, I just farted. That was like, now my, ooh, dookie. Dookie, 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 dookie. Dookie. Dookie, dookie, dookie. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bro. I really don't. I don't care. <clears throat> I just, I just, um, I just really want you guys to get it. I want y'all to get it. That's it, bro. You know, you know, I just want y'all to get it, man. 
I just want y'all to get it. That's all, bro. That's it. Life is simple. It ain't easy. It's simple. Do what you got to do so you can do what you want to do. Women are simple. Women are simple. If she flake, put that bitch on ice for two weeks. Either she going to fuck you or she not. Yeah, G-Money. It's like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fam, like, it's simple, bro. Now, I don't, I don't play Fortnite. Uh-uh. I just, I just can't understand the logic of building shit because somebody is shooting at me. Like, I'm going to build a fucking, a fucking ladder that's 50 feet wide because somebody is shooting at me. What the fuck? Yeah, she was subconsciously shit testing you. Because the baby in you would have said, you slept with you slept with those type of guy. Eh, you off. Friends on forever. I can't fuck him tonight. He'll judge me. Eh. Eh. Women are gonna subconsciously shit test you every fucking day. Cause she gonna slut shit test you. She gonna she gonna let you know the nigga she fucked this up, and she gonna let you see if you gonna judge her. I see you, third lang. I see you. How do you pass them? Easy. You don't give a fuck. You don't respond. It's easy. It's easy. Majid, I'm 22, financially stable. I have 10% body fat. I work out regularly and I'm looking to invest soon. But I'm five for seven and balling. How would that affect your confidence? It's killing mine. It would, nigga. If I go ball right now, I wouldn't give a fuck, cause I still be fucking the bitches and I still be hella confident, cause I think I still think I'm hella sexy. I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't give a fuck. Facts. You shouldn't let that affect your confidence, bro. My mentor is five foot seven. Ball. Make fifty thousand a month. You think he gives a fuck? Even if he was not making that, you think he would give a fuck? And he's red pill. What eight mode say? <laughs> Y'all saying eight mode savage. What do you say? I missed him. I can't even see him in here. But being alpha is a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle, man. Waking up and, and, and doing stuff, improving, that's a lifestyle. You don't just do that shit once a week. It's every day. Every day. Every day you improve. Every day you improve. Every day you improve. Every day you improve. But if you complain, you're going to stay the fucking same, G. Facts. Every day you improve. 
Appreciate the five dollars super super chat, Steph. I took the rhino's pill, but I ended up in the hospital because my stick wouldn't go down. This is only a setback till she buzzed. Damn, nigga, how many rhinos you took? Three? Shit, damn. <laughs> All right, Dallas Cowboys. Man, nigga took three rhinos. Shit, he was digging the he was digging the fuck out that bitch. Damn. Shit. God damn, nigga. Shit. <laughs> Three of them hoes. Bro, I remember I took some super cheap gas station pills and I feel like I was going to have a heart attack. Damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, Edge of Hill. Exactly, bro. Exactly. But, um, yeah, fellas, like, I just want y'all to improve, man, and, and, and just keep digging, man. Keep pushing with life, bro. How do you have a competent mindset despite constant rejection? Um, Killing the beta, becoming the alpha, and taking the red pill. I'm coming out on my Patreon. Um... Steph, Steph is cold. Top three things to become the coldest version of yourself. And the one most important thing is not giving a fuck. You can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. You can't. You can't. But you gotta really not give a fuck. You can't just say, I don't give a fuck, and then yo, 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 the beta in you is ah, the beta is ah, the beta is ah, the beta coming back. Ah, the beta just keep coming back. Ah, the beta coming out. Ah, the beta just keep coming. Ah, I see you, Ice Turner. I see. Let me mod you up. Let me mod you up. You know what I'm saying? The beta coming. <laughs> you can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. What you think about stalking chick at a job? Stalking a chick? I don't know. It's crazy to me. Can you still take a year off and still date working on yourself or should I just focus 100% no dating? You can work on yourself and date. Just date on the weekend. Appreciate it, bro. Work date on the weekend. Just work on the weekend, bro. If a bitch is, is, is distracting you from your purpose, you a beta bitch. You a beta bitch. Oh, we got to get this nigger out of here. We got to get you out of here, bro. Nigger. Yeah, I'm finna nigger. Take your bitch ass out of here, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my fucking chat, bitch. Where can I donate? Link is in the description, bro. Link is in the description, bro. You know what I'm saying? I have to get his ass out of here talking about some nigger shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me put this page on. Let me get here for y'all. Does losing weight help with your penis size? Yep. You you uh gain at least like three three inches. You lose weight. That's gonna make you lose weight, bro. Cause you want a bigger penis. Hey, more power to you, bro. More power to you, bro. Shit. What do you think about incels? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I feel like I I only can become ice cold if I lost my mom or something. But my emotions keep me weak. You might lose. You might become ice cold when a bitch uh, uh hurts break your heart, bro. When a bitch break your heart, bro. That's when you become ice cold, bro. That's when you that, that that's when you're gonna become ice cold, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's dating females off dating sites, beta. It's making money online, beta. The fuck is niggas talking about, man? 
If a chick says you're a player, do you think she's attracted to that? What you think, bro? What you think, bro? What you think, bro? Nah, if a chick say you a nice guy, she attracted to that. She attracted to that. She that's what she attracted to, bro. So that's that, man. Make sure y'all join the Patreon. I'm going live twice a week on there. I'm dropping content, two videos a day on Patreon every day. Um, I'm going live with a woman today at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Not live, but I'm uh, we doing a video. I'm doing a, I'm doing an interview with her today at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're gonna meet up and do an interview. What's your opinion on cold showers? Cold showers is cool. Can you teach about forex? I don't do it, so I can't teach about it. How do I change the super chat donation amount? It's like a little ticker thing you just slide up. You know what I'm saying? Where's your venom tattoo, bro? Not on me, bro. I got a wolf tatted on me. And I got my hand tatted, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll get the venom one soon. Maybe before I leave for Columbia, I'll get the venom one. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, Pookie, my supplement video was on Patreon, dog. Let's get the likes up. Yeah, man, we got 380 people on the hitting 150 likes. Let's get the likes up. What the Patreon? What the Patreon interview going to be about? Well, it's going to be with a woman. So, what you think it's going to be about? I'm going to put it on Patreon. I ain't putting it on YouTube. So, make sure y'all check that out. I'll put a little teaser on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's what's up, bro. I see you. What if you're in a relationship and you show weakness and show your beta? Is there any way you can bounce back from that? Um, Book a consultation with me, bro. Oh, I'm doing a video. I'm not going live. I'm doing a video. Bro, I know the game, but at the same time, how can I get over being shy? Um, One thing you got to do is... um. Become more confident, bro. You're not confident in yourself. That's why you that's why you shy. You're not confident in yourself, bro. You're not confident in yourself, bro. FaceTime sessions is on stephiscode.com. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Keep posting. Your shit will move, bro. Don't worry about that shit. I see you, Red Pill. Moto on this bitch. I see you. How do I become a Patreon? Um, post the link again. Best program for hard gainers? Depends, bro. Please make a video about Sigma Males. Why would I do that? I don't know nothing about Sigma Males, bro. Favorite cheat meal? It had to be a burger, fry. Excuse me, in a shake and some ice cream. Can you make massive gains doing push-ups? Yes. Um, yeah, you can use her car or your car or a hotel, but you know, it's, it's, it's good if you got your own shit. I'm five foot, I'm five foot, I'm five foot seven, five foot eight, bro. Five foot seven. What's your morning routine looking like? I'll make video on that, bro. How many push-ups should you do a day? A hundred? A hundred? You ever go out alone? I don't go out. Just I just work and I work out. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to make six figures next year, bro. I'm 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 focused on the grind right now, bro. I don't go out. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. How do you deal with haters in life? Just let the results speak. That's a good thing. You let the results speak, bro. That's how you deal with haters, because haters always watching. I got haters watching me right now. Haters. I got motherfuckers who used to fuck with me, who like me, and they, and they don't like me no more. They watching me right now. And guess what? 
You just use that motivation. Use that motivation. Use that hate to push you, bro. Use that hate to push you. Eat watermelon on they bitch ass. Mm-hmm. 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 Let them results speak. T Finesse, I see you, boy. I see you. What's good, King? I see you. You know what I'm saying? Let the results speak. Let the results speak. Who give a fuck about them anyway? Facts. I don't give a fuck. They don't pay my bills, bro. Give a fuck. Shit. You still go out if you're on your purpose. Of course. Of course. I'm a Leo, bro. <laughs> Ooh wee, boy. This watermelon juice in the motherfucker. Yeah, I'm a Leo, bro. Would I ever be vegan? Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Mm -mm. Um, because, bro, just because your, your muscles are sore don't necessarily mean, like, you putting on muscle, bro. So that don't mean shit. Tips for weight loss. 170 trying to go to 150. Get in the calorie deficit. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Get in the deficit. Keep digging. Keep digging. Get in the deficit and just keep digging. Appreciate the $2 super chat, bro. I'm probably late, but what is putting the girl on ice? Hey, dig to see motherfucking bus, gang. T tell that nigga what the fuck it mean, man. That, that nigga lost. He up in this bitch like, what the fuck? He lost like a beta man in this bitch. Man, put that nigga on game, man. He don't know, man. He don't know what's going on, man. You know what I'm saying? He don't know what's going on. How much of a surplus calorie you need to gain biceps if you struggle making them bigger? Um, I actually encourage I and I actually and I make a video on this. Uh, I appreciate your Don Motor great. Uh, I, I I encourage to train your biceps every day, bro. If you want them to grow, you just got to be in like you got to start your calories at like 3,000, 3,000 calories a day. But I highly recommend. It's called nucleus overload. I got it from this dude named Megan, uh, Alpha Three D Destiny, some shit like that. And he got it from niggas that's in prison. So in niggas in prison, they got the best physiques and they train like dudes with the big ass backs. They got the they got the biggest backs because they do 100 to 200 pull-ups a day. So I just did that with like abs and calves. I do like that's why my my calves is my best body part by far. That's why they're so fucking big. Cause I train them every day. My abs is good. My, my shoulders is good. Like my arms are a good size. Only thing I'm trying to work on now is my back. My hamstrings and my legs is good because I used to run track every day. So if you using the muscles um, every day, you know what I'm saying? If you're using the muscles every day and you eat it and you get them out the, the, the proper rest, you'll be good. Best calf exercise will have to be uh, donkey calf raise. Donkey calf raise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Do you? Yeah, I lean bulk, bro. I lean bulk. I lean bulk, bro. But I'm cutting right now. I'm on like 2,000 calories a day, like 2,200. Frequency is more important than intensity. It's true. That's true. That's true. You do push pull legs? Uh uh. I do. Uh, sometimes I do one body part a day. I love one body part a day. And, or I'll do um, chest and arms, shoulders and back, legs, chest and arms, shoulders and back, legs. Or I do shoulders and arms, chest and back, legs. Yeah, I cook all my meals. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how, like, I switch it up. You know what I'm saying? I switch it up, bro. I'm 16. Is making the NBA a realistic purpose? Yeah, man. Just make sure you cold as a motherfucker. That's all. Collagen powder is cool, bro. What up, grown man? I see you up in here, baby. I see you. Appreciate the five dollar super chat, bro. I stayed focused for a year and got promoted. Went from hourly to a base salary of fifty k with bonus. I live in the southeast where everything cheap. Hashtag purpose. Hey, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. I see you. Best ab workout, no equipment. Uh, hanging leg raises. Best ab workout, hanging leg raises. You know what I'm saying? How much to start Herbalife, bro? Ninety four dollars and like thirty cents. Mm-hmm. Like $94. What made you turn red pill? Um, I was just talking to my basketball mentor. Hold up. Appreciate the 10 dollars super chat. I appreciate you, bro. Really open my eyes. I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I opened your eyes, bro. Um, my mentor would just I don't want to share this on YouTube. But my mentor gave me some information on a specific topic, and that's how I became red pill, right then and there. That's how I became like that's how I became red pill. Then I start learning about like um you know the elites. Not gonna really talk about that. Um, you know, and and you know, all that all that deep stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I was red pill super early. 15, bro. I was like most high just like just bless me with hella knowledge at 15. You know what I'm saying? Then it just got deeper, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, then right now, 21, turning 22, August 5th. So it's like it's like as I'm getting deeper, I, I, I became I become more knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, bro. I won't, bro. I won't, bro. I already know, bro. Cause it's deeper than just female nature. Like female nature is like like, like level one, like like level one, level zero, <laughs> level zero, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Steph, you helped me so much. I appreciate it, bro. Glad I helped you, man. Glad I helped you, uh, uh, Stefan. I think that's your name, too. White bitch gave me her number last night. When should I call? Uh, how, how, how was her interest, bro? I, I don't know how much I weigh right now. I think I'm like 180 pounds, man. Smith Reeves, DM me, bro, on Instagram, and I'll show you the next steps. Feminism also has an effect. Of course, yeah, feminism has a huge effect. Huge effect. Huge effect. But we ain't going to let that stop us, though. We ain't going to let that stop us on our purpose and on our grind. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 